Now let's go on to multiple table inserts. Multiple table inserts allow the use of an insert command with syntax that lets you insert with a single command into multiple tables at once. Here is the syntax for the multiple table insert command. The syntax is such that we say insert into tables based on when conditions. The condition will determine whether data is inserted into a table or not. These different options obviously imply insertion into different tables. So the condition determines which table we insert data into. Condition determines into in the when clause. In the first case, the first when clause inserts into one table. The second case, the second when clause inserts into a second table. In the case that all the when conditions fail, the data is inserted into a default table determined by the else clause. The else or default condition will execute when all other when conditions have failed. The multiple table insert statement is a little bit like a case statement. We have the option of first or all. We have to understand the concept that we're inserting into multiple tables for a large number of rows. In other words, not a single row. For each row, this insert statement is potentially inserted for one or many rows. The first option will cause the insert statement to pass to the next row when a when condition succeeds. The all option will actually execute all when conditions for every row passed through the insert statement. In other words, if a single row that is being inserted passes two when conditions, it can actually be inserted into two tables, two different tables, because it's passed through two when conditions. Obviously, the else clause or default insert condition will not be executed if at least one of the when conditions has succeeded.